Greg Cazillo, Fro Knows Photo dot com. Guess what? Something we haven't talked about yet, and that's the slideshow module in Adobe Lightroom 3. Now, the big reason for using this for me is to present images to clients. Uh, especially when I'm using this, uh, you know, presenting images for a wedding, that kind of thing. It's much easier to sit here, go through a slideshow, let them repeat once or twice, and they're done. So this is kind of one of those things that, that I use, and I set it, and I forget it, and it's just set up on my laptop. I actually rarely even use it on my desktop, which is where I'm recording this. But, again, it's, it's something you just set up, and then you're done, and you don't really need to come back to it and touch it. So... Let's go through all of our options. This is the default setup, single image with a color wash, the stars uh, here, as well as uh, the, the, the name or the, the text overlay there. All right, so options, stroke border on image. Oops, let's start at the top top, huh? Zoom to fill frame. I want to always, in my opinion, show the full frame of the image I don't want to have it cropped, so I'll turn that off. Uh, that's that's a rarity for me to use. Stroke border uh, could be good if you are uh, if you have a lot of images with black, and then if you're using a black border, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to leave that on as one pixel. All right, I'm going to turn off a shadow because again, I'm going to switch this background to black. Layout, show guides, don't need it turn it off overlays don't really want an identity plate um, it seems to me as if my clients don't understand or don't don't sometimes I'll be hitting or rating images as I'm going through the show uh, with a number pad and so I'll turn those stars off just so that I don't have any questions with the clients well, why is that a one star this one a two star um, so uh, I'll just leave that off uh, text overlays once again don't really need that all right, backdrop, turn off my color wash. Background color, I'm going to switch this to a black. There we go. Titles, if you wanted to add a titles title, if you wanted to add it in an intro screen or a separate identity plate or an ending screen, you can absolutely do that. It's not my choice. It's not something that I do just because of the way that I run my presentation. But if you were doing this as a little different type of presentation, uh, say for a group of people and you know you were coming back from a vacation or a portraits about some uh, for someone or a benefit for something or you know showing to a big group of people you might want to add that intro and ending screen and it might be pretty cool so playback we can add sound to it selecting our music picking a couple tracks uh, if it goes longer it'll go through the first track and then go into the second track into the third track if you have that many pictures now, playback screen. As you can tell here, I have multiple monitors. I have three monitors hooked up to this uh, machine. And so right now I'm recording from my big monitor, and that's where Lightroom is on my, on my big monitor. And so that's why the playback arrow is there. Now I can choose to play it on any of my three monitors. All right. And when I click it, when I click a different one, see the little one that pops up right here in the middle? Okay, when I click my second monitor, that shows up on my other one, on number two. When I click this one, it shows up on number three. And the other thing is, is that the, my three monitors are all different ratios. Um, so the, that's why the photo and the border size is changing when I'm clicking them and switching back and forth. All right, blank other screens. You can turn that on or off. To personally, I'll usually turn that off. Um, I don't have a, uh, when I'm using Lightroom, um, I love the new dual monitor setup because I have the second screen set up and I control what the viewer sees and then I see all the normal screens, all the normal develop, all the normal everything on my side. And so, you know, I don't need to show them all that other stuff. So I want to be able to see what's coming up. So I'll turn that off. Slide duration. Once again, that's really your own preference kind of deal. Um, I like my fades down around a second, so I'm going to put in 1.0. And I like my slides, at least for my weddings, where we're shooting 300, 350 images to show uh, down around two seconds. I think that's a good amount of time. Repeat, 
Uh, I'll usually leave that on just so it's very clear that it is repeating. And the final thing, prepare previews in advance. As long as you have rendered one-to-one -one previews, this works great. If you have not rendered one-to-one -one previews, it can stutter, at least from what I have found. Uh, I've had problems with it, so maybe I'm probably not quite using it exactly as I should. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's what you can do with that. All right, I'm going to make a new template. I'm going to click and create my preset, and I'm just going to call it Greg Demo and it is saved there we go now we can then hit play and it's going to take a second so this is exactly why i wouldn't want this to sit there and play and play and prepare and da 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 da, da. you know i want this to play immediately so that's why i would turn off that prepare previews in advance deal um maybe it was it a beta one that i was using that it was stuttering or something uh, looks like I talked just about long enough till it starts. There we go. And now my slideshow will run at about two seconds. Now, a few things. You can hit the pause button, and you'll get a little pause thing in the corner here, and you can pause. Uh, you can hit your uh, arrow, your, your stars, and your stars will pop up in the corner as you're rating, as if they're talking about it. Sometimes that corner might not, they might not notice that. Um... So you never know. Anyway, hit your space bar again, and it'll restart. And obviously, I'm not going to sit here and won't let you look at 200 pictures, but this gives you an idea of how it's going to play. All right, escape key brings us back to Lightroom. So we've played that, and we're done. Now, what if someone doesn't have Lightroom? We can export a PDF slideshow, or we can export a video slideshow. All right, that video slideshow, you could very easily upload it to... YouTube to Vimeo to whatever uh, you know video place or if you're doing your own streaming from your web server you could do that so it works out really really nice all right so let's export this and let's see how long it's gonna take probably gonna take a while so I don't know if we're gonna stick around for that you know what why don't we pause it right here I will be right back let this finish running and we will be right back. And we're back. Here is our exported MP4 file, which will play a lovely, nice slideshow. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we can stop that. Now we can also export it a PDF. Here we go. And here's our PDF, which we can then flip through images and see them all in there wonder why that one's oh that was a frame at the back okay all right so there's a PDF we can also export export PDF export video next step uh, next thing actually going back over to this side play button play starts the show obviously preview will preview it just in this screen here okay so that's the difference play is full screen preview is with inside this one all right then we also have this toolbar down here, stop, play, next image, previous image, that kind of thing. Next one, use selected photos, all film strip or flagged. Okay, that's why I have my film strip showing down here at the bottom. I can start at that image and go to here, and then I can hit play. Hey, guess what? Jared's calling. Let's hit decline. Let's decline. Okay. So that was Jared calling on the Skype call, Skype line. So we'll decline him for right now. We'll get back to him in a few minutes. Anyway, we can then pause our show, um, add text to a certain slide, individual slides. We can do that. All right. So that's what that's for. Rotating pictures, yada, 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 yada. Last thing, this down here is telling us what our time frame is, as well as what slide we are on. And then down here, we can also filter what's showing in the slideshow here, or in our film strip here, and then in the show with our normal filters, just like we would use from the grid view. All right? So I believe that is everything that I have here in uh, the slideshow module so of Adobe Lightroom. Be sure to share your images, share your photographs with your friends. That's what photography is all about. It's social. Utilize it. Greg Cazillo, fro knows photo.com.
See ya.